Hey, what's going on, Lee Gen Beast? Matty Ice here, Leads for Locals. Got a pretty cool uh, Go High level tutorial for you guys today. I'm going to be showing you how to do, uh, what would you call it, like a, a text trigger keyword campaign, whatever. So uh, if you want to send a text, uh, do a text campaign to your current list or whatever, and you want them to text back a specific phrase or keyword or whatever, and then have the automation just send them the link, the discount code for, for the sale that you're having or whatever. Um, that's basically what this campaign is. Uh, so pretty cool stuff. I got this. Uh, this was inspired from a coaching uh, client of mine. Shout out to Erica. Really great idea on this. And there's probably a lot of different ways to set this up. I'm going to show you how I did it. it. Took me about 15 minutes to do, maybe not even that. So it's pretty quick. And the good thing about it is you can use it over and over and over again. Uh, basically, anytime you have a new campaign that you want to do, a new discount, new training, whatever that you're doing, you can just go into these workflows, change up the text and, and the link. And you can just keep reusing them. Um, you change the tag to whatever, right? So uh, make sure you stick to the end. Pretty cool stuff here. Uh, this is really good for either your business or for your clients. If you're an agency owner, this can be a really good campaign to set up for your clients. So make sure you stick to the end. As usual, my only ask, if you find the video helpful, smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe and uh, check out the links in the description. Always have good stuff for you guys there. And if you don't have Go High Level, please go through my affiliate link. It really does help support the channel. You guys are awesome. Let's rock and roll. So let's break these down really quick and then I'll show you how to set them up. It's pretty easy. So uh, we have three workflows here. We have the actual text, that the, the original text that goes out, uh, offering that to, or, or just letting people know about your promotion or new training, webinar, whatever it is that, that you're, you're sending out. We have an automation or a workflow that uh, goes out if they do not reply. So this is just an automatic like follow-up, I guess, uh, after a certain period of time, if they have not responded just kind of like a quick reminder, just in case they forgot or they just haven't seen it yet, whatever. And then uh, we have a, a workflow for when they actually reply and you know we automatically send the, the link or the discount code, et cetera, okay? So uh, let's start with the original uh, text that we send out here. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that we don't have a workflow trigger. I suppose you could, it just it really just depends on your, your funnel setup. Like if someone were to opt into a specific list, you know, maybe that work, your workflow trigger could be, you know, form submitted or something like that to automatically add them to a sale or free training campaign. Um, obviously, you probably want to put some wait time here uh, just in case. But for now, just like the, the way I'm doing it is uh, it, setting up is you're going to manually add your list to this workflow. That's basically what you're going to do. OK, so uh, the first thing, uh, the first action that we have is to add a tag. I do tags in pretty much every workflow that I do uh, that I that I have because uh, it it's really easy to search for those uh, people later. You know, search for those tags later if you want to create a smart list around it. And this is just a good way to keep track of who you've sent this to. Uh, like in this particular one, we did test SMS sale, like the name of your sale or whatever uh, free training, right? And so basically, anytime you would do a campaign, uh, a new campaign assuming it's a different discount code or product or training that you're sending out, then you would just change the tag. You would click X here, come back in, uh, test SMS sale two for the next time, right? And that's what I was saying earlier is you can recycle these workflows. You just have to change really quick, change the tag to the name of the promotion that you're doing, click add, save action, and then obviously change the text. That's pretty much it, right? So the text that we're sending out here, hey, first name, and you know we're using the custom values here, contact, you can insert their first name right there. Just wanted to let you know we're running a special on XYZ products. Just want to let you know we just we came out with a brand new free training or webinar. Uh, if you're interested or you'd like to take advantage of it, just text back uh, the word sale. Uh, so I probably should put that text back. Text, how, do you, how would you say that? Text, just text the word I don't know. Uh, my grammar's off today. Just text back the word sale and I'll send you the link to the training or the discount code, et cetera. Uh, either way, hope you're doing well. And then you put your first name and your company name at the bottom. That's pretty much it. So pretty, pretty simple stuff. And then the last part here is we add the workflow. All right. And uh, we're adding them to that no reply workflow. And we have, uh, I'll, sh I'll break this down in a second, but basically it's going to check to see if the person has the reply tag, and uh, if not, they're gonna send that, that reminder text. So I'll show you how that works. All right, so we send our text out, pretty pretty simple stuff, all right? And of course, there's a lot of other things that you could add to that. You know, if you wanna add them to an opportunity stage or you know, a different workflow or whatever, you could absolutely do that. I'm just kind of showing you the basic setup here. 
So the uh, let's say they reply, all right? So let's open this one up, okay? Now this workflow trigger is customer replied, all right? And it's gonna be, uh, the reply channel is SMS and the uh, contains the phrase test. And then actually just to be safe, I guess you could do a uh, reply to workflow as well. So we'll find the workflow that initiate like the original text. All right, that way we just, we can be certain uh, that any uh, that we're triggering this workflow based on this specific campaign, right? So SMS, they text that, that keyword back, whatever you came up with, they text that back and then test SMS sale. Those are your, fil uh, uh, for the workflow, those are your filters right there, okay? For, for the trigger. And then from there, we add tag. Uh, so they, they, they replied. So they replied to XYZ campaign, XYZ sale, free training, whatever, right? So we add a tag saying uh, that they replied because we're going to use that in a minute for the no reply uh, workflow. And then, you know, it just if you want to add a note maybe to their their contact profile, they replied to this particular campaign, you know, just so you have easy access to it. Maybe you add them to another workflow of separate emails and text messages later on. Maybe you notify a team member. Maybe you do an internal notification to call the person, right? I mean, if they... they reply back saying they're interested in something, maybe they're interested in something else. You never know, right? So you could maybe do, uh, let's see, where's it at? Send internal notification right here. You can send a text to yourself or an email, whatever, and uh, just notify a team member and maybe they can, maybe they make a call, right? So, uh, and then the reply text is basically just sending them what it is that you promised. So I just put great, here's the link to get XYZ, or here is the uh, enter, the discount code XYZ and visit this link to, to purchase whatever, right? So you're basically just sending them the, the link or the information that they need to get what you offered. If it's, uh, if you're sending some type of link, I do recommend bit.ly. Um, you can also do a trigger link here because the only thing I don't like, um, I got to test this again. I'm not hundred percent sure, but the, the trigger links, they look kind of weird, uh, especially in text, uh, at least from what I understand, I could be totally wrong on that. But it just, it looks like a weird uh, URL. So, I mean, people will probably still click it because they reply, they know it's you. But um, the benefit of using trigger links is that you can create additional workflows to follow up with people if they have not clicked the trigger link. So maybe they replied yes, but they, they never clicked the trigger link to, to go get what it is that you offered. So now you send a follow up, all right? Um, that's uh, you, you know a little bit more advanced, but you could do that. At the very minimum, though, I would use a Bitly link. And uh, so what you would do, uh, I'm still waiting on support over here. All right, uh, let's break that down really quick. Um, so you'd grab your, jeez, go to sites, funnels. You're going to grab the URL to the page where they're going to opt in or they're going to, you know, it's the order form, whatever. All right, we copy this. We go over to bit.ly. This is free to use, guys. And uh, basically allows you to, uh, well, a couple of things. One, you can see how many people have clicked on it, but two, it shortens the URL. So you're not sending this really long URL via text. And uh, I've seen issues with that before if your, your URL is too long. So you click create, paste in your, your URL here. All right, we'll click create. You can do uh, some UTM parameters too, which I do recommend. And then right here, you change the back half. Uh, so test, SM, uh, uh, well, so I, I might actually use this. So we'll just do seven figure loan broker. That's a training program that we have. All right. So now we have this short link. So we copy that. Let's go back to our workflow. And then we just paste that bit.ly link into the, the text. All right. Test SMS sale, sale reply. All right. And then we paste our link right there. And that's it. All right. So that's the, that's when they reply. And now let me show you what happens if they don't reply. All right. So this is just kind of like an automatic follow-up if people haven't responded. So let's go into this one. Okay. And again, we don't have a workflow trigger. We don't need it because we added them to the campaign when we sent the original uh, text out anyways. Right. So um, with that said, we do want to put a, a wait time here. I put 45 minutes to start. You could do an hour, maybe a couple hours. I guess it just depends on when you send it. So if you send it in the beginning of the day, you know, maybe wait two or three hours, you know, give them some time to check their phone. Maybe they're at work, whatever. 
All right. So uh, basically all you do there, uh, well, I mean, it's pretty easy. You guys probably know this by now. Click the plus sign, wait 45 minutes, save, you're good to go. All right. And then from there, we need to do a condition. All right. So uh, this one's at the bottom next to wait. So we're going to do if else. Okay. Let's get rid of that. All right. And the condition is, uh, so we did, uh, what did we do? Uh, contact details. All right. So you're going to select contact details. I believe that's the, the segment. Yeah, right here. So you would select contact details and then, oh, what did I do? Contact details and then tags. I'm sorry. Tags. All right. That's basically what this is. So contact details, tags includes that reply tag that we, that we did earlier. So remember when they reply to your text, uh, sending that keyword phrase back, we add that tag that they replied. So our condition is it includes that specific tag. All right. Now, if, the, uh, if they have that tag, then we just remove them from this workflow because we don't need to follow up. They already replied. But if they do not have that particular tag, that means they have not replied yet. We're going to send another text message here. Hey, first name, just wanted to make sure you got my last text about the discount or free training, whatever that we're running for the next 24 hours. Text back the word sale. If you'd like the discount code or training, if you'd like the free webinar, blah, blah, blah. Uh, hope you're well. Sign it with your name and company name. Save action. Make sure you publish them all. And that's it. And rinse and repeat. From there, uh, all you do, guys, to add them to the workflow, in case you're brand new to Go High Level, go to contacts. You're going to uh, import your contacts. It needs to be a CSV file. So import all your contacts. All right. Select them. So select all records. Uh, you can also, you know, search, you know, filter right here, whatever, uh, depending, like if there's a particular part or a specific part of your list you want to send this to. But anyways, uh, you just select all your records, add to campaign workflow. Okay. To proceed. I recommend doing it in drip mode. Um, I guess it just depends on what you're doing. Um, I guess you don't really have to, since they're just texting back a phrase, you're not really starting a conversation with them, but you would find the, the can or the, uh, workflow that we made. Oh, I don't have them published. That's why. <laughs> Anyways, you would find the workflow. Okay. To proceed, you know, add them to the workflow and you're good to go. That's pretty much it. So, uh, it doesn't take very long to set up can be really, really powerful and a uh, great, great campaign to run for your business or for your clients guys. So let me know what you think. Drop some comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, share some different ways, like if you do this already, share uh, you know, uh, some different ways that you do it or maybe some advanced automations uh, that would be helpful. Um, always looking for, for awesome stuff like that. So hope you guys are crushing it and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.